probably is, and then you know, either go out to the internet if you need some more help finding a definition. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, exactly. They're not, that's big. That's the important part is they're not serious. So, so the easiest one is, is like food. If you've ever watched, uh, you know, any, any sort of food shows where they, uh, bring out like a big plate of food and they're like oh that's you know that's as big as a house or something you know they they make a comparison to something that's like way too big have you uh, seen that before um have i seen the i did not hear what you said yeah, food, food, food so is sorry. the That's okay. Food is the main one. I mean, food is one that often gets compared to like exaggerations. Food is the big one. Oh, yeah. One. I agree yeah. with that. I think I've heard like maybe it was an ad on TV. It was like, oh, buy now. And it, or like it was like something with ice cream. Like this ice cream is like this cone is like a mile big, like some some really big as heck, like 10 inches long. And you can get it for free. And I was like, that's not real. It's apparent, right, right. And, yeah. Like, like I have a fat, my cat is really fat. And they'd say like, you know, your cat is as big as a dog, but she's not, I mean, she's actually not, she's only like 13 pounds. Like, but the, the exaggeration is right. The, the exaggeration is like, what? Like, you know, she's not as big as an elephant. She's 13 pounds. Like, you know, my, should be my brother should be and my brother and my dad call me an elephant as a joke. <laughs> right. So um, you gotta, you gotta give an example It's it's usually good to like you're comparing something to something, you know. That tree, that Christmas tree is as tall as uh for uh, um you know the Empire the State Empire Building. Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. All right, so try to come up with something different.
I'll be right back with you, Ivana. All right, how are you doing with that uh, exaggeration? It's going good. I'm just making sure that uh, I'm just wondering if I should change it or not. Uh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm borrowing the. I'm using Christmas tree for this. All right, there we go. That works. Um, always good if you can can kind of grab another one, like maybe the Sears Tower. You know, just just another. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, but that 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 works for me. Um, hyperboles are good in writing. Um, okay. All right, so this next one, um, you know, we like to say it is an oxymoron. It's a combination of contradictory or incongruent words. One of my favorites is uh, saying different. Um, a guy I used to listen to a lot of his podcasts used to used to use these ones like these ones military intelligence and uh airline service you've flown any airlines recently sometimes you don't get great service um so the oxymoron is a combination of contradictory words it's like two words that don't seem to go together but they kind of kind of do or they are used together. Cruel kindness is a good example. Um, like maybe heard of like tough love. Yeah. So uh, could you uh, could you look up a definition for us and work it out? Oh, uh, sure.
Oh my god, now my dog is barking. Everything okay? I forgot my train of thought and I forgot what I was supposed to write. The definition of oxymoron. Oops, my Spotify just randomly opened. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, now can you give me a, an example of one that is different from what I've listed here? Man, you really want to use it in a full sentence? Okay. Feel free to go out to the internet and uh, look for something.
Okay, so an example I found is the same difference. So I guess I can say like it's the same difference between I don't know actually. So maybe maybe uh maybe choose a different one. Um you gotta put it into a sentence. Like you flew recently and you feel like you had an airline service. Okay. I don't know. Um you know, parents parents are known to give tough love. Um maybe you do that to your dog. I don't give my dog tough love. I give him affection only. <laughs> okay. No yeah, tough I know. love. I know, I know what that's like. You so they look at you and they just they just you can do whatever they say. Exactly. Hmm. I think we can I think I'll use tough love. Okay. Okay, here's what I wrote. So, so what does that mean? Like, like how, how is it tough love though? Um, um, I, I, I don't know. That's yes. well, An example is like when parents don't let you do what you want to do, even though you want to do it. They know what's they know what's best for you. Yeah. So. Oh, I think um, I know what I can add. Give me an example of that, please. Okay. Like, do you want me to add on to the tough love that I already wrote? Your parents are going to give tough love by, and then they, you know. We're, Like we're trying to explain what it is. Like, what are they doing to give tough love? They give tough love by not letting her, like, go outside and do homework. And I'm, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm saying it wrong. By tough love, like they're not letting her go outside to hang out with her friends until like she finishes her homework and. Okay, that's a good example.
Okay, here's what I wrote. Okay, that's a good example. All right, um, so that's a common one, oxymoron. That's three, three of five here. Um, so let's look at a couple more. All right. A um, couple more. Yeah, we got two more to do. So just want to we've got to choose some some oh. ones that are more commonly used. Um, so similes we use all the time. There's another good one. Let me put this in the document. Simile is a figure of speech comparing two unlike things that is often introduced by like or as. Um, cakes like roses, and cakes and roses are not at all the not at all the same. Um, but they use the word like or as. That's the that's the main thing here. So, could you uh, describe what a simile is in your own words, please? Sure. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, and we gotta include the words using like or as. Um, but this is gonna be the okay. challenge for you is, is you know, is, is you gotta come up with kind of two similar things and using the words like or as. Okay, um, okay, here's a simile example that I okay, okay so uh, you gotta explain why though, why be crazy like a fox? Like, this is fine, but it's not, it's not enough. You've got to give me a little more than that. All right.
All right, there we go. All right, really good. I like it. Um, last one here. Mm -hmm. Some of these are easier to say than they are to actually use. Um, I think this one we we'd use a lot. Um, that, you know, I didn't I actually didn't know that this one was a uh, was one of the uh, rhetorical devices. Um, Latotes. You you actually affirm something by. Expressing the negative of the contrary, like rather than saying like, you know, I just, you, know you figure skating, say like, he's not a bad figure skater, instead of saying you're a good figure skater. Mm -hmm. Which I I think it's better to say the positive of, you know, it's better to say hey she's a really good figure skater. Sometimes we just say well she's not a bad one, um, and usually we do this because we don't want to like press that it's it's really good, or not. Um, like for example, um, you know, you, if, if you, someone's asking a restaurant, well, Hey, do you want to go eat over there? And you're like, well, it's not a bad place to eat. Like you're, you're not trying to say like, you're going to love it. You're just saying, well, it's, we're not, we're not going to be, we're not going to dislike it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's, it's, it's affirming the negative of the contrary. So give me a definition and then we can uh we'll talk about the um, okay talk about some examples Okay, I just wrote the meaning. Okay, that will work. And then uh, you got to come up with an example of this. But you can't use the figure skater. You can't use the you can't use the singer. You can't use the restaurant. But there's plenty of other examples that you can use. And don't forget to explain why in, in the example. Okay.
Okay, I just wrote, for example, he's not a bad figure skater. You can't you can't use that example. That that's what I'm saying. You can't uh you can't use any of the ones we've already used. You have to use something else. Really you can use you can use anything. Okay, there we go. Okay, hey, now, now you gotta tell me why he's not a bad cook. I don't know how to explain why. That's what I'm wondering. Like, well, be, because you're 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 not you're saying well he's not a bad cook. You, you might say well the, the last time I ate his food it was pretty good. Can't now you can't use that. I know I can't use that. Okay, here's what I wrote. Okay, he's not a bad cook because last time I tried cooking, it was really, but you can't, Lonnie, you can't, you can't use the same thing I'm telling you. <laughs> but like, I made the example already. Oh. What? Can yeah, I say, like, I tried this pasta or something? Yes, yes, that would be better, please. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ugh. let's have, like, you, you can do this. This That's the whole point is, like, I'm just giving you an example. There's millions of examples. You can do this. This isn't rocket science. This isn't as hard as figure skating. You can do it. You're like my mom when saying it's not rocket science. Well, it's not. <laughs> I have a really good friend who's a mechanic, and that's what he tells people all the time. He's like, look, fixing cars isn't rocket science. It's not. 
Yeah, it's not, but, like, the way you sound, like, are you my mom now? Did my mom just randomly possess you to say that? I, I'm, I'm pushing you to do a little, go a little bit further, get me out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Right there. I used pasta this time. There you go. That's much better. All right. And I think that is five. Okay, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five in there. That's perfect. Um, the book review is next. So I'm, I'm dropping those, um, those pictures. We can spend the, spend the last five minutes. If you want, you can answer as much of the book review if you want um yeah. let me get those in the chat here um full sentences please as always no uh there's shortcuts so if you can answer any of those and drop them in the chat that would be great All right. Can you give me, do you have anything written down here for, uh, for this? Yeah. All right. I answered every single question except the fourth one. All right. Okay. We'll need a little more effort on this for, uh, for next time. Um, All right. Uh, maybe, maybe you would say something like why you don't relate to them. You know, that would be the next thing to think about. And then, um, you know, how do you like the book? You can answer that from there. Okay, Ivana, we're going to stop there for uh, for today. Um, so we're meeting.